In today's video, I want to introduce a very powerful indicator that gives highly accurate prediction on the next movement of the market. To add this wonderful indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search was predictor. This one was predictor a peek into the future, which is an editor specs indicator and it's written by someone named Immortal Freedom. All right, so this is the indicator. And as you can see, it's in the form of an oscillator that these lines are moving above and below the center line, which is zero. Was predictive indicator was originally formulated and introduced by John Ehlers in 2019. And if you search in the Google a peek into the future by John Ehlers, you'll find this PDF which is actually the indicator's white paper explaining all the details about VOS predictive indicator. This is the original version of VOS predictor introduced by John Ehlers, which is a little different from the one that I have added to this chart, which I'll explain the differences, so don't worry. We can still have the original version here in the indicators. Again, we search VOS and if we add this one, was predictive filter this is exactly the original version that was introduced by john ehlers this uh, modified version is actually a kind of all-in-one combination of three indicators it puts john ehlers two pole bandpass filter into the was predictive filter and it's combined with correlation measures and we have some additional modifications on the colors and the appearance these two main elements of the original was predictor still exist here exactly with the same settings and you can see that this line that is changing color between green and red is actually this blue line and this white line is actually this red line let me close the original version and continue with this slightly modified version all right the background of this indicator is black by default which is a good choice for white charts and if you find it distracting on your black chart you can remove it here in the settings here in the style tab by unchecking dark background all right let's see what we have here this line that changes color between green and red is was predictive filter and the white line is band pass filter and the area between the white line and the center line is colored like this which in case if you find it distracting you can remove it here in the settings here in the inputs tab by unchecking display band pass area we can adjust the settings of band pass filter but we don't change anything here in this video because the default settings work very well in most of situations situations but depending on our trading strategy we may need to change the settings for better confluence of our indicators these small dots that you see here in the middle of the indicator are correlation colors that will help us with the current momentum and direction of the market when they are green they show upside momentum so advancing of the price and if you pay attention you can see that we have different shades of green color the brighter the green the stronger is the advancing of the price and dark greens show weakness in the movement similarly when they are red they show downside momentum and so declining of the price and similarly the brighter the red the stronger is the movement all right trading signals that this indicator gives us is the crossover of these two lines when the vast protective line crosses above the white line it's a buy signal and when it crosses below the white line it's a sell signal in other words a signal for opening a short position but we're not going to take every crossover signals that we see on this indicator otherwise we will encounter many false signals john ehlers also suggested using a directional indicator that helps us with the market trend so we can take the signals that are aligned with the current direction of the market as i explained earlier these small dots help us with the current direction of the market so they can help us to filter the false signals to some degree the method is like this when the dots are green we take bullish crossovers in this situation we don't take bearish crossovers and on the other hand when the dots are red we only take bearish crossovers and in this situation we don't take bullish crossovers by doing this method many of the false signals will be filtered but still not enough and you may encounter some bad signals these dots are showing the current momentum and direction of the market and many of the false or bad signals happen when we are against the overall trend of the market so we can add another indicator like pivot point super trend this one 
so it will help us with the overall direction of the market. With the default settings, it's still showing us a current movement of the market. As you can see, the color of the super trend is somehow similar to color of these dots approximately in the same period. So we need to change the settings so it can give us the overall trend of the market. For ATR factor, we set it at 15 and for ATR period, we set it at 30. All right, so now you can see that the uh, super trend is showing us the overall trend of the market, the bigger picture of the market where the market is in a downtrend or in an uptrend. Now that we have the overall trend of the market by the help of super trend, we take the signals that are also in the current direction of the overall trend. In other words, they are also aligned with the super trend. A bullish crossover is confirmed only when these dots are green and the super trend is also green. In this situation, while the the super trend is green we don't take this bearish crossover you can see that we have a bearish crossover the dots are red but with this extra layer of confirmation we could avoid this false signal so this signal is confirmed this one is also confirmed this one confirmed confirmed and we continue like this please pay attention that in times that we have a deep pullback we can encounter false signals for example we may enter a long position here at this point because the dots are green the super trend is green so it's a confirmed signal but you can see that after that the market declined considerably we could avoid the signal by having another rule for example taking the signals that are only aligned with this uh, bright green colors because when it's dark it shows weakness at this point that we got bullish crossover you can see that the dot is dark green so it shows weakness in the prior advancing of the price the overall trend is up but this short-term advancing of the price got weakened here and we had a deep pull back here by the help of this role you can decrease your risk as much as possible but in practice you may also lose some profitable trades like this one which we got a bullish crossover at the point of crossing the dot is dark green but this is a very profitable trade as you can see so this is up to you if you want to decrease your risk as much as possible you can take only the signals when the dot is bright green which shows strong advancing of the price but on the other hand if you intend to take a little bit more risk to catch uh, large movements of the market like this you can show flexibility on this and take the signals whenever the dot is green the important point is risk management so you can manage your losing trades and protect your trading account i'll talk more about this at the end of this video this was trading setup for long position signals and for downtrends we do the same but in the opposite direction here we take the bearish crossovers when the dots are red and super trend is also red please pay attention that this method of trading is trend following strategy which means we only take trades that are in the current and overall trend of the market this method provides the lowest risk trading opportunities in compared to reversal trading strategies or range trading strategies but this method doesn't work well when the market is not trending like range markets where many of the times happen when a reversal is happening in the market or a consolidation during an uptrend or downtrend so you must be very careful with this when the market market is not trending so you can avoid losing trades super trend doesn't show you the range market uh, you may use adx indicator which can help you to know when the market is not trending but the most effective way is price action analysis when you see the structure of the downtrend is ruined and the price couldn't make lower low and it went up to the previous high this gives us the signal for reversal or range market when this happens the short thing is that the downtrend got a problem here and you can see after this this level Level became a support level and this level a resistance level forming a trading range here at this area of the market in this situation you must stop trend following strategy and you may switch to range trading strategy or breakout strategy if uh, you have in your trading system you may have successful trades in this situation based on this trading strategy and this may happen when we have large swings of the price but you're not trading based on trend because there is no trend here and any positive result is achieved randomly so please pay attention to this important point and another important point is that you must understand that no indicator or trading strategy is able to give 100% guaranteed signals and losing trades are part of the game and you need to manage your risk properly there is a risk management strategy that is called 1% rule and it's a perfect choice for active trading I have a complete guide on this the link is also placed in the description of this video and I highly recommend you to watch it because risk management is the most important factor in your trading 
everything success all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading